and welcome to the program. The gender question became particularly sensitive these past years with the rise of the Me Too movement and the growing awareness of violence against women. Now, in the framework of a report called Masculinity Today, Maine's Attitude to Gender Stereotypes and Violence Against Women, conducted by United Nations Population Fund in Ukraine, the Serbian Reflector Theatre presents the play Macho Man. Joining us in the studio today is one of the actors of the play, Rasko Vujicic. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Alex. It's an honor to be here. So, can you tell us, uh, first question, can you tell us more about this initiative? Your, my understanding is that uh, your troupe is here for one day to, for, for this uh, initiative about masculinity and gender stereotypes. Can you tell us more? Of course. Um, we were brought here by the United Nations Population Fund in order to show our theatre play tonight, which is linked with the topics that are going to be presented tonight based on the findings on the research they did on masculinity today and on man's attitude towards um, stereotypes, towards violence against women and stuff like that. Uh, so is it like th this this report uh, by uh, by the funds from um, United Nations Population Fund in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Is it directly linked to Ukraine or in Eastern Europe in general, or is it like th this idea of a certain stereotype of man? Is it directly linked to this area? Or um, I don't think it's an aerial question. I think it's a global question. Uh, violence against women, mm, those type of macho stereotypes, those types of situations that we get to see every day on the streets all over the world. And I think that it's not just a domestic problem. I think it really is a worldwide issue. Because <clears throat> some might um, might argue that, in especially in conservative society like like the Ukrainian one, for example, mm -hmm. um, there is this idea of um, a weak man, uh, like a, a man who does, doesn't over embrace, let's say, its masculinity, is is considered as weak. Uh, how to how can theater deal with that? Well, theater can deal with this kind of topic only by showing the stereotypes towards the men who think are overly strong, who think are overly smart, and who think that usually tend to violence, unfortunately. And uh, theater can deal with this topic by showing it to the audience, so the audience can sit down, think, and reflect on their selves, their lives, and that maybe we can press a button or two within people's minds to think about themselves, to think about their own views on masculinity and these kinds of stereotypes so that we can deal with them together. So what's the, the usual reaction? Do you have reactions from the, from the viewers? Yes. Do they, well, how do they react? Um, when we finished our play, we saw that people were moved, people were touched, and people were really thinking about what they just saw. Because our whole theater play goes with this funny way of existing, and then at one point, before the very end, we do this cut, and all of a sudden we start to get really, really serious. And I think that's what moves the audience actually, because we put them in this comfortable position where they laugh, where they see this st these stereotypes, where they see this macho man way of mm -hmm. existing. And then, then comes a very, very, very um, rough topic, which is Basic, uh, basically, what happened during the, uh, since the 90s until today within our country, within Serbia, and what was uh, the um, occasions and what were the situations we grew up by and who were our role models, which is the most important questions this theatre play has to ask. Who is your role model? Who was your role model while you were growing up? Now that's an interesting question because um, issue that you raise because in in I read on on the, on the website on, of a reflector theater there's like this idea of a of a role of mm -hmm. like the, the role of the hard worker the the role of the cool guy mm -hmm. uh, so is 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 theater a, a way to to reflect on this role and to say like okay this society in, is imposing you that role you can you know break through the society and more uh, more than this. How uh, do, how does that work in in Serbia? Of course, it's, it's a country which has been through tough times. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way. Um, why why is it so pregnant, so so so, so prominent in in, in Serbia? Uh, because in our everyday lives on the street, you can see people who are 
facing down people who are overthinking things, people who are not satisfied with their lives, who are not satisfied with their um, financial situation, emotional situation, physical, psychical situation. And um, the thing is, it's um, sort of our duty with this theater play to break those chains that people carry around their eyes and to take them out of their comfort zones and out of their boxes they live within and those boxes are made I think mostly based on uh, society telling you what to do, society telling you who to be, society telling you why are you, when are you, where are so it's you. So a stage kind of a society is a stage in itself for, for these people. Well, yes. Unfortunately, yes. Now, um, is, if uh, society is a, is a stage, is theater doomed to be politic? Never. Uh, I think that politics is always trying to put its evil little fingers <laughs> within uh, the theater, within art generally. Mm -hmm. And I think that you... I don't think you can be a good artist if you mix politics with art because politics has um, a strict way of existing in the world we live today unfortunately and the theater is there to give you an alternative it's there to show you what is actually going on it's there to show you what is actually going on within us who are standing on the stage and what is happening in our minds in our hearts and then if you find a link between our minds and our hearts, in your minds and your hearts, then we did our job good. Now, and to uh, conclude this interview, you're part of this young, uh, we could, could call it young, uh, uh, theatre company. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee certain tendencies in Eastern Europe theatre uh, compared to Western Europe theatre? Do you, do you foresee some, some different ways of doing theatre? Do you see, and, and do you see some tendency for the next, let's say, five, ten years? Um, I heard one sentence, and I'm not, unfortunately, very sure who pronounced it. Uh, he said that uh, the next revolution is gonna be the revolution of ideas. I think that this world is broken the way it is, unfortunately, but I think that the artist's job is to show the world that it's beautiful, that it has other ways of living, that it has somewhere to go, somewhere to be, something else to exist by. If you keep on showing the world how broken it is, it's only get, gonna get more broken. And I think that uh, I think that those ideas and those um, ways of expressing your emotions with any type of art, not theater, but art generally, is gonna save this world once. Well, it's quite a, quite a challenge, and thank you, I know, no, thank thank you for thank expressing you. it uh, on <laughs> our studio. Thank you, it was an honor to be here. It was Rasko Vujicic, an actor at the Reflector Theatre. Thank you for watching the program, stay tuned for the rest.